So some of you might know that I have been reading Brandon Sanderson's books lately. I finished the first Stormlight Archives book, The Way of Kings. I'm done with the Mistborn book one. I'm reading Mistborn book two. And I want to pick up the second Stormlight Archives book as well. Now there's something that's happening while I'm reading these books. And I'm really happy for that because in the past few years, I had started reading books very differently. I had started searching a lot of meaning in the text that I was reading. And in that process, what was happening was that I had stopped enjoying stories as they should be enjoyed. I was searching for, for all the philosophies that were being put forward with those books and so on and so forth, the layering and the meaning and the and the social context and all of that, which is very essential, which I believe should be there in all the books that we get. But the simple pleasure of experiencing and enjoying a story was something which I had almost forgotten. And while reading Brandon Sanderson's books, that's something which is actually coming back to me. I realized this when I was reading the second book of the Mistborn series and everything is so well done. I mean, like there's a very interesting plot that's going on. The pacing is amazing. The characters are so well written that you root for them. You connect with them. The world that's created is very interesting. The magic systems, the political turmoil, everything is so bang on that somehow I didn't care the kind of philosophy and the kind of statements the book was making. And I think that's a huge success for an author. That's, that's, that's what makes stories successful. And that's basically all I wanted to say today. Because suddenly after a very long time, I was reading this book in which I just wanted to keep on reading because I wanted to spend more time in the world that was being created as opposed to knowing what the book was trying to tell me or the ideas or the philosophy that the book was trying to present. And that's all I'm going to say today. So that's it for today, guys. Until next time, stay healthy, keep reading. Cheers.